It's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people are going to be out there camping and, uh, you know, using campfires, that sort of thing. So we're with Matthew McFarland right. with Unified Fire. And so you're going to teach us how to put out a campfire and kind of control fire. Absolutely. Any small fire. Uh, everybody should have a home auto RV camper uh, fire extinguisher. They're cheap. They're at every grocery store. This is a great under the seat model for your car or under the sink in your uh, kitchen. For today, we're going to use this bigger one. And if you're doing an outdoor fire, we'd prefer you have something a little bit more substantial than that one. And definitely, if available, have a water source too. Once you put it out with an extinguisher, you have to mix and stir, make sure that all those embers are out. These are really easy to use. Well, I've never used one before, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I know. You're going to do just fine. We use okay. the PASS acronym. It's Pull, Aim, Squeeze, Sweep. And it okay. starts with this pin right here. You're going to break that retention clip. You're going to pull this pin out, holding it here. You're going to aim the nozzle at the base of the fire, not lobbing it in or cascading it down. You want to shoot for the base of the fire. And then you're going to squeeze the handle down with the palm of your hand and sweep the fire. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Okay, I think I got it. You got it. You're saying like, uh, you know, campfires, they can really get, get out of control quickly. Absolutely. You need to always be monitoring. Never leave any heat source unmonitored. Don't leave the room, the vicinity, the campsite, wherever you're at. It needs to be monitored at all times. Even with that, accidents happen. That's why you're ready with these. Okay. So you said, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. You got Good. this. Pull. Okay. Aim. A show. Yep. Grab the nozzle there. How far away do I need to be? As close as you can safely. Okay, well it's kind of hot. Squeeze and sweep. Okay, that was Perfect. pretty easy. I don't know why I was nervous. <laughs> okay, so, well it doesn't taste very good. No. <laughs> I can't see. We can back up a little. <laughs> so it tastes really bad. That's the first thing I'm noticing. <laughs> So it's essentially baking soda. Sorry for that. The wind shifted, right? We talked about yeah. this, and then it turned around on us. The wind shifted. But shift, it quickly put out the fire. It's essentially sulfur compounds and baking soda. It's a proprietary blend that puts out fires. Here's what I'll tell you. If you pull the pin and you start squeezing, in real life, you would use up that entire thing. That'll, that big extinguisher will push for 30 or 40 seconds. And if it was important enough to open it, you want to use the entire extinguisher. For our purposes, we were able to stop. And in real life, you'd add water and mix and stir. Just to make sure that it's out. Absolutely. All right, so if you're going camping this week, and those are just some good tips if you're headed out there and you're going to be around a campfire, uh, and just make sure to always be safe.